So, I mean, we don't even need knife for this. You'll see this really typically, you know, it's kind of done this way. We're just using it with a knife in our hand. <laughs> it's keeping rhythm. <laughs> I got it. Oh yeah, this is easy. <laughs> okay, so that's all we're doing. You should take drum lessons. Hey. I do actually. <laughs> this is actually my drum teacher here. You guys see me goofing off on the drums. Um, I could do pretty much nothing on the drum except for use it as a large paperweight or a table. And um, Brett really kind of opened up that field for me and really sort of helped me out and helped me. You can me. also use it as like, you know, a TV tray. Yeah. <laughs> he gave me up, but you know, here's the thing I really like about the drum work. And you guys see, I put the drums in the Armas Kali constantly. Um, if you look at, uh, and Mark, Mark Denny's a good one from uh, Dog Brothers for, for really kind of bringing this to light. But if you look at um, any really good weapon culture, okay, any tribal based weapon culture, you know, the Filipinos, the Indonesians, Native Americans, the Africans, you know, if you, if you look at them, what do they, what do all their cultures have in common? They all have some form of drumming. Even the Japanese have taiko drumming, right? They all have some form of drumming. They all have some form of uh, music and rhythm that, that gets into their training. And I think that one of the reasons that the, the drum um, does so well with, with uh, weapon systems is it it's always teaching both hands. It's teaching a smoothness and a rhythm and a flow between the hands. You know, just fooling around and doing stuff like, you know, like that. You know, that's, that's so similar, but that, that, that's so similar to, you know, getting, being there in the right time and place, you know, and then mixing the different things in here. You know, all this stuff is, it's, it's, it's like playing the drums. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it other than, you know, it's another tool. It's another tool. So, you know, I always encourage my people to learn to play. Jerry's taking a few drum lessons. You know, uh, Brett, for those of you who are interested, uh, tomorrow is going to give an official uh, drum lesson here. That's why we brought as many drums as we did. I, you know, I encourage you guys to do his, his, uh, his seminar. Um, you know, tonight when we do the campfire, we'll, we'll probably bust out a few drums and just kind of play with it a little bit, you know. Um, but it is helpful in your training. It is a great coordination builder. So uh, I encourage it.